So, uh, clear all, Kathy. I have yet to actually press the button. I've been on the screen for a little bit, but, um, I was talking with friends, so. Um, hmm. I don't know how to start this, uh, very well. Ever. Um, so, Canto 5. Uh, I played through all of that on kind of a bit of a whim, uh, to record it. And I recorded it all in kind of bursts as the chapters came out, and I'm going to do my best to do sort of the same to get the least amount of spoilers as possible for the story aspects of uh, Canto 6. Uh, similar to Canto 5, I have read Wuthering Heights, the book, before starting this. Uh, I have words about the book. I have words about certain character from the book or characters from the book but i may hold back some of that hate so it doesn't pollute this as much um i think the other thing i wanted to say on more like housekeeping notes is those uh canto 5 did better than i anticipated really i kind of like i said i did it a bit on a whim i didn't really expect basically become the most popular videos that I uploaded onto YouTube to the people who potentially even followed me or subscribed to this channel from them. Thank you. I'm more active streaming wise, so uh, Twitch mainly. So if you'd like to see me play as of recording this, I'm playing Ace Attorney, but potentially by the time I post this, I might be on to a Chrono Trigger playthrough. So different things over there, but uh, it's time for me to actually get ready and start Canto 6. I'm so scared. Before I do actual story story bit, uh, one thing needs to happen. Okay, two things need to happen. I did get this Heathcliff, that is done, but we should do a pull. Well, I probably got Meru. I did not even get Meru. Wow. Not even. Okay. Well, give me one of these. There's Meru. Thank you, sir. Uh, but this is how we're currently looking. Now with the new Meru. I don't know how far I will get. I will probably go for just about an hour on this recording. So I'm definitely probably going to be coming back to it tomorrow for more. But these will be split yeah. as chapter bit. Hi, Kathy. If you can tell the character I'm most <laughs> for. <laughs> To the manner where the last vestiges of its beauty remain in its violet flowers. <laughs> to the manner where its storm-broken breach has siphoned all that was once warm. <laughs> to the manner that gave you not only life, but also scorn and desolation. Accurate. To the manner where your place was the frozen corner that couldn't be further from the hearth. Return from the moors. It's time for you to come home. So this is what T-Corp's nest looks like. We had surprisingly little trouble making it past the nest borders. I guess my concerns were unfounded. Apparently, it's just a blockage. Mm. Okay, yeah, that does look better. I was checking where I sat. <laughs> or sitting right now. Uh, well, somehow we made it through this nest checkpoint without any trouble. <laughs> Are you okay, Tom? The, okay, I guess... It sounded like coughing more than clearing of throat, but okay. Uh, there's nothing for sooth. Such wild compliments are unnecessary, says I. But we didn't say anything. 
She's grown so much. Everyone seems awfully relaxed for having just entered a different nest. I guess everyone's gotten used to this by now, humdrum routine. I guess they'd be... I guess they'd be the workers to describe the general sentiment among the sinners. I guess for one, that is. We're headed to this place called Wuthering Heights, right? Next, right? I could tell from Heathlip's glum expression that his mind was weighed down by all kinds of complicated concerns. Huh? Oh, huh? Uh, yeah. Though his eyes were staring at the moving scenery past the windows, his mind was affixed on something that his eyes couldn't see, something that lay beyond on the, the building walls. Wuthering Heights. That manor must have been built on one windy hill, huh? That was something I actually looked up, because I don't know why, it just never registered with me. But having to look up what Wuthering was... Because <laughs> the, the windiness doesn't, I feel, play much of a part. Except for maybe in like a couple things? that it really feels like the name itself or potentially the overlapping of just the internal storm and the mess that is the inside the manners and areas of the heights and whatnot yeah bloody worthering like its namesake i never knew comfort as long as i was there Heathless voice carried an unusually dark tone. The other sinners on the bus noticed this and began chatting. A return to one's homeland must bring forth quite the tangle of ma mass of emotions. Homeland, well... I wasn't born here, I was raised here. I suppose that could still count as a homeland in a way. Okay, yeah, so this is also carrying forward, because that was something I wasn't sure. Uh, Heathcliff was... adopted person? Kidnapped person? Uh, by the Worthing Heights owner, Catherine and her brother's father, and just brought into the home. And essentially, originally raised there as, like, sibling-ish, and then turned to a more servant role when the father passed but it doesn't conjure in me the same feeling that a homeland is supposed to that is to say you've no idea how many times i imagined played it out of my head returning to that bloody manor smashing every little thing in that place to bits until there is nothing left Okay, so you'll smash everything to bits, then what? Did you really learn nothing from watching what I went through at the lake? She has a point. <laughs> I did learn something. If I ever lose the plot and push myself to the brink of no return, I trust that one of you louts will put me right out of it. Are you giving us permission to beat the sense back into you? Yeah, if that's what it takes. It is an intervention! Oh, yes, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> I broke a little bit. Uh, so... Uh, okay, it's coming up a little bit. I... hate <laughs> Catherine. I hate Catherine as all basically through most of that book i have very little sympathy for her i lost sympathy th for heathcliff in the book simply from his devotion to her and his love of her as well as his hatred to her that basically made him the villain 
Uh, interesting. How far are we allowed to go with the blood bodily harm? Amputation? Nerve manipulation? Oh, mutil nerve mutilation. <laughs> Maybe we can at least smack his head really hard? I just realized Ryoshi did a full sentence. All right, you cheeky bastards. Seriously, this ain't an invitation to use me as your emotional punching bag. I'm not in the mood to. Still, I think your present self can do this, Heathcliff. Huh? What do you mean by my present self? Heathcliff, your present self is... deprived. You're poor and you don't have anything left. What? Poor? Right, now you're skipping past the pleasantries and going straight into the personal insults, yeah? I'm... Ah, I think you took my words the wrong way. Hong Lu is far from the most talkative... Is far from the most talkative sinner, but when he does speak, he usually has something insightful to say. Well, I guess he is on a little bit of the quieter side. I don't consider him as quiet as, say... Yi Song, I think, was more quiet. Roshi's definitely on the quieter side, because she abbreviates her sentences, so she speaks less. No, Gregor Roja. Matters coming out of his shell a little bit, so I guess he is someone who doesn't often speak up for no reason. Though, since he never says it in a way that's immediately obvious, his words are very prone to misunderstanding. In a way, we're all deprived, and that can change a lot of things. Maybe there are things that we can understand only when we're left with nothing. Doth that poverty explain our current unsightly lack of colorfulness? Don Quixote looked mournful at everything around her and then at herself. She sounded like she was about to cry. Everything had been drained of color since the moment we entered T-Corp. Through the back streets. It feels like even more of our colors have been taken away since then. I was wondering when we'd bring that up. Huh, maybe we'll get our colors back soon. Or so I thought, like 10 hours ago. Are we going to be colorless forever? Are we going to be stuck in this gloomy hue for the rest of our lives? Seriously, nothing looks tasty in this sepia tone. I'm starting to lose even my will to live. Everything in that si everything's in that sickly brown hue. Guys, even meat looks downright rotten in this color. That's a bit of an overreaction, isn't it? Oh, and what about those guys? They've got color in their clothes. With an annoyed look, Roger gestured toward the people outside the bus. A sufficient amount of payment must be made in order to retrieve your colors. It must be emphasized that this question has been repeatedly answered over 23 separate occasions well let me have a gander his coat his trousers ah and that bloke's not even that loaded he's not he's only trying to come off as though he is real tough spare no cast to get at every single color back even to their trivial trinkets like the rims of their glasses did you also have to live without color color when you lived here heathcliff no the manor had some color yeah that was still far from vibrant agreed this is the color of shit blood would have blood should have remained red that poor sod's going to get himself jump wandering around with that look. That's just enough color to invite the bandits, but not enough to keep him away. Heathcliff prediction came true soon enough. Several thieves surrounded the bloke who'd only who's only trying to come off as though he's loaded and bashed him in the back of the head. Oh, I clicked too fast. Ah, fie a bunch of shameless villains they are, preying on the weak civilian like a pack of hyenas. Uh, are they what you would call a gang? 
The gangs of T-Corp have certainly seen better days. I wouldn't even call them a gang. They're just lowlives running out of time. Last time I was here, scum like them couldn't even dare to infest the streets so brazenly. There are gangs that aren't even... S there are gangs that aren't scummy? Of course, the gang I was in would never dogpile on some poor, um, unarmed bloke like that. Garen wants to vroom vroom. Can't vroom vroom with roadblock. Well, there isn't much point in waiting for the situation to resolve itself. Virgilus finally spoke of after quietly listening to our discussion for the last few minutes. Take care of them before Don Quixote starts making a fuss about it. Ooh! An enchantment of justice. He's really starting to get the hang of this, huh? Oh, this looks more vibrant than it did in that earlier picture. Uh, well... Oh, you get This one's ours. Looks like you lot are running low on time as well. Tough luck. We've only got 30 minutes ourselves. Running low on time? Boy, maybe they're the one... Maybe they're one of the dead rabbits or something. 30 minutes? 30 minutes for what? Impossible. The old day, the old dead rabbits and their vigilant ways are no more. All they do nowadays is staring at you funny from behind those odd masks. Masks. Like, what are you? Bollocks. We don't got time for this. Let's kill them quick. They began rushing at us with the bloodshot eyes, not giving Heathcliff time to even finish his sentence. Huh. I was thinking, so Meru's identity kind of reminded me of Heathcliff, the new one that dropped, which does have me wondering, potentially Heath's gang was the Dead Rabbit gang. <laughs> Love it. How do I get, like, people's finals on round one? Because I got, like, at least four. <laughs> hey, so what are you weak to? I freaking thought. I knew it probably didn't be blunt damage. Pure <laughs> 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 This one. This one. Oh, is this better moves? This one, this one. Trying to hit multiples. If you weren't going to hit multiples, I should have just done your better one, because I would have killed it! Yeah, you got a couple hits off. 
ええ、ウォンウォンス。私も最近この人の。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。
Didn't even finish the combo. You. Quiet, or you'll attract even more of them to us. Shut your gob right now, or we'll feed you to the meat grinder back at our, back at our rickety cannibal bus. Is that clear? Th then... You're not here to kidnap me? No, for the... I don't even know how many times we've told you. Of course not, indeed. For we are the limpid fix. Just... She's trying so hard to not say it. The passers-by of justice. Sir Heathcliff here can be rather brutish in his manner of speech, that is all. N right. Passers-by of justice. So why are they asking us for time, not money? Maybe time's just another commodity to be sold and bought here. Guys, is it just me again? The tea court pamphlet guide to no one really. Ishmael's eyes started to glaze over. Once again, she may have been the only sinner who bothered to read up on our destination. NT Corp, also known as Time Track Corporation. Time Track? Its citizenry utilizes timepieces as personal identification. They off trade with time instead of physical currency. There are means of transactions done via t the timepieces they carry. Most laborers in these lands are rewarded for their efforts with time. Oh, thanks for the explanation, Yi Song. I'll let it slide this time. So, is this going to be a problem? Otis is the only one of us who carries a watch. Is that why she got made the butler identity? <laughs> Oh, you mean her broken wristwatch? I always thought that wearing a stopwatch was a neat fashion statement. It's not a fashion item. It never was. How insolent of you to assume. Right, I've been meaning to ask what got you so freaked out about a kidnapping earlier. Oh, there's a pretty scary rumor of indiscriminate kidnappings going around these T Corp streets. These are abandoned streets, so when I saw a dozen or so people running around together, I was scared you guys might be the infamous kidnapping syndicate or something. We need more details. I want the who, when, where, what, how, and why. Proceed. D people have been going missing around here. This kind of became the last known location for a bunch of missing people. Everyone become um, a shut-in during the foggy days because they don't want to get kidnapped. Looks like it's even on the front page of this T E Times newspaper here. Mysterious kidnapping, fear sweeps nests, not even a single body found. I can keep reading if you want. Marisol, Roja, and Don Quixote began enthusiastic enthusiastically reading the sensational titles and attached articles on the newspaper he showed us. Hmm. Whoa. I gotta check out that award-winning eatery. It's not so far from where we are. Oh. So the time retrieval fixers have said it as such in these interviews. Are you guys even reading the same article? That's right. There's a lot less people around here than I remember. The street used to be packed with workers headed to their factory jobs and inventors selling their useless trinkets. It's never been this... empty. This empty street of T-Corp was thick with fog and bustling crowd out from Heathless memories nowhere to be seen. Maybe the lack of color made the fog appear even thicker. This reminds me of the kidnapping rumor we heard when we were working on the Blades lineage case. Missing people, maybe there really is a messed up kidnapping human trafficking syndicate somewhere roaming this area. 
I've never heard of such syndicates strutting about this place, back when I lived here at least. It is a statistical impossibility for a human trafficking syndicate to leave zero evidence behind, there is bound to be one or two they let slip between their fingers. Especially if the syndicate is so prolific to the point of indirectly discouraging the public from leaving their homes. A body or two will invariably be found. If they really don't leave any bodies, then maybe it's worse than just your usual murders. Maybe it'll be more dangerous the more we you look into it if it's not just another violent tragedy then maybe there's more to this than we think maybe there's some powerful organization pulling the strings like a finger or Wuthering heights itself you know that's a lot of conjecture to make just from the fact that no bodies have been found I'm sorry. Guys, the night in the back streets. A single sweep from those sweepers leaves nothing behind. Every trash in the back street, including corpses, is completely cleaned up. Right, they'd clean up the corpses, yeah. Of course, it's kind of scary, but... Right, that they clean up more than just trash. Yeah, the idea of sweepers really freaks Sinclair out for a while. That's because Roger kept making funny noises and sweeper impressions at me every night. Mysterious case of missing persons in the street, shrouded in thick, heavy fog. It's almost as if we're in the middle of some scary urban legend. Not that I'm scared, not at all. You okay, Sinclair? That what? That does remind me in the lead up to this chapter of theorizing of potentially like a jack the ripper kind of character serial mystery killer killer kind of thing be neat be interesting granted you could find the bodies or not if the sweepers are a thing don't force yourself to laugh sinclair I don't like this at all. We're this scared so soon after entering the nest. Everyone seems to be on edge thanks to the unsettling story we heard earlier. I know what to do. Hey Heathcliff, that invitation, can you read it out loud for us again? It'll be a good idea to remind ourselves of our current mission, besides I could use a refresher myself. Mm. It's just an invitation. There ain't anything special about it. The neatly folded invitation Heathcliff produced from his pocket completely betrayed his attempt at appearing aloof. It was folded with such tender care that it almost resembled a neat paper craft. He cleared his throat. <clears throat> Sometime later. Please honor this occasion with your presence. With great respect, Nelly. And, and... Bollocks. You have to be here, Heath. I'll be waiting. Kathy. Damn. This wasn't exactly what I had in mind when I asked him to read that letter. Ugh. What are we? A party crowd at a dive bar. Oh, that wasn't what we were going for. I knew that this would happen. I ain't even mad. Besides, all she said is that she'd be waiting. Never said she missed me or wanted to see me. Come on, bud. Just look at the way she wrote it. Here. Let me see. Let me see. Some sinners gather in a circle like they're doing a literary analysis of the invitation. Maybe I was worrying too much. <laughs> They're like school kids opening their first love letters. What? Were you never interested in those things, Sinclair? I was. I, I was. Uh, uh, I was a good, diligent student. The only things I ever cared for about were my textbooks and the school lectures. Sinclair, thy countenance appeareth to be turning rosy again. For the last time I said, it's genetics! <laughs> what about you, Dante? 
Oh, never mind. Hey, what's with the oddly sorry look on your face? The manager has no need for your sympathy. I am certain that there are those who appreciate their unique appearance. It is not odd? What, that someone would actually... What, that someone actually wrote Heathcliff a love letter? Oh my, Yisan. That is such a rude thing to say. N no, I had no intention of relaying such crass sentiments to... Just kidding, Yisan. Just kidding. I was actually thinking the same thing. Since we're not looking for a Lobotomy Corp branch of T-Corp, since we're heading to this Wuthering Heights Manor instead, I suppose that that's where we'll find the Golden Bell. That was precisely what I had intended to convey, Ms. Ishmael. Thank you for bringing that up. I was starting to get tired of being the bringer of unpleasant news. Hopefully none of you are under the impression that we're headed to Wuthering Heights just because of some invitation Heathcliff received. Because if you are, you'll be sorely disappointed. Right. So if we're looking at the context she wrote this in, what she's really trying to say here is... No, 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 but you gotta look at the tone she used here. Sure, moving on. There was a report from the LCCB that the Golden Ball had been observed. They narrowed its location down to somewhere within Wuthering Heights Manor. But there was a significant risk on account of the manor's unique security system that prevented the before team from conducting their on-site preliminary survey. The exact location of the ball is yet to be identified. Unique security measures? Not sure if I remember anything like that. Right, then it's even more odd. No other way to put it. Indeed, though I remain ignorant of the monetary value and the public perception, perception of its worth, I do know that the Golden Bow is not an item so easily attained that it may be housed in a normal, private manner. It can be shared that the Golden Bow wasn't always located inside the manor. I see, then the Golden Bow is its Golden Bow, its previous location in an unknown area within T Court's Lobotomy Corp branch had been transferred to the manor. I clicked accidentally. Uh, Lobotomy Corp, T Court's Lobotomy Corp branch had been transferred to the manor for a reason we are yet to be aware of. Right, then this Catherine person will be a major part of this operation. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's going to be the final boss of this operation. Cancel, I did not mean to skip that. <laughs> to have a golden ball all to herself in that manor. And she's got to be one confident woman to confident enough to believe that Heathcliff will come to the manor just to see her face even if it wasn't for the golden ball Ishmael oh no oh yeah you don't know <laughs> y'all need to get prepared sinners for the dumbassery that Heathcliff becomes when Catherine might show up because oh lord none of this conversation seemed to even register to Heathcliff however boy let me know if you see a barber shop or a bouquet nearby this isn't a tour bus Heathcliff we will not make unnecessary stops like the ones you suggest right I get it then why don't you just leave me behind and go on ahead I'll catch up so Heathcliff, I've been watching the shops very closely, but I haven't noticed a single open shop. It might be because of the rumors from earlier and the fog. Why don't you just leave it to us, Roja and I? The hell are you? Wait, what? Okay, I want to do one more and then I might need to go to bed for the night. Because I just want to see what becomes of this. Uh, the bus had emerged from the back streets into a rather quiet looking village. The fog that was still thick and everything was still in that faded hue. 
even the occasional sightings of pedestrians had ceased, and the very idea of color seemed like an alien concept here. All I see are orange-hued lights coming through the windows of misty gray buildings. It was though everyone decided to stay indoors for the day. I can't even tell where we are and how close we are from our destination anymore. Have you been here by any chance? Been? Have you? Duh. Have you been here by any chance, Isang? He was the only other sinner who had spent a while in T-Corp, so I decided to ask if he recognized anything, but it was evident that the scenery was unfamiliar to him. Though I have resided here for some time, most of my hours are spent earning a living and conducting my research when I could afford to do so. Thus, I have not ventured freely the streets of T-Corp. I can't imagine doing any research at a place like this. Can't have been easy it is quite manageable once you one grows accustomed to the monochromatic shift the presence of variance in color itself is a concept alien to those who are born and raised in these lands and i had shouldered shoulders of those that i could lean on even for a fleeting moment it helps to have such support when acclimating to a place as foreign as this Isan looks away to a place far beyond from here. Memories of his past, most likely. Did you ever hear anything about what T-Corp's singularity is? As all singularities are, it is a, its true nature, its mechanisms and functions are all of something of an enigma, yet... Isan paused and carefully began to speak. I am aware that it has ought to do with time though I am unsure of its use. Well, I suppose all this is but meaningless conjecture, and only Miss Faust amongst us must be aware of the answers. Its singularity is one of the reasons t -Corp constantly drains color from its inhabitants. What's time got to do with color? If the controls of time is so imperative to T-Corp's operation, they must also control the realm of light. As light inherently has much to do with the spectrum of colors, those two sub subjects eventually overlap. That is as far as I could deduce regarding the concept of time that I am aware of. Yet it must also be said that it takes time for me to reach Faust's specific knowledge regarding t -Corp's singularity. Takes time for me to reach... Faust, I'm going to assume your brain is like a file cabinet system and things get lost. <gasps> Faust, known amongst us for her, maybe, perhaps, rarely ever gave us answers this detailed. Then now's the time to ask her all my questions. Miss Faust, as we discuss the subject of time, indeed, it would be safe for us to move on from the subject of T-Corp at this time. Aw. There she goes again, teasing her with stuff she's not going to tell us anyway. Well, I guess I should be glad that she decided to tell us this much. I doubt she'll tell us more, no matter how much we pry. That's kind of sad. That there are people who's never seen color their whole lives all because of the singularity. Well, that's just how it goes, isn't it? In the eyes of a stranger, we'd just be another one of those poor, miserable people who's never... S in, in the eyes of a stranger, we'd be just another one of those poor, miserable people who've never seen color. Yeah, I guess if anyone sees them by themselves. That's a danger of trying your fir very first bite of meat. You taste it once, and you'll never unknow the flavor. And in the end, you'll start to wish you never tried it. Hmm. It is pretty disappointing that even the sun loses its vibrance here. Off did I long to see colors of the sky, especially when the sky that looms over the a light shower of rain. 
Yes, things like the color of the sky, too. You long to see it only because you've seen its beauty. If you were born here, never to escape its borders to the last of your days, without ever seeing the blue sky, then I'd hardly call that a death death misery. Hardly... I'd hardly call that death miserable. Calling even that miserable is nothing but sheltered arrogance. I guess that could be true. The atmosphere in the bus suddenly became incredibly frosty. Oh, hey, speaking of color, I got something to ask you. Have you guys ever heard of the colors game? Apparently, each type of personality has a corresponding color. Roger was the one to chill the bus in the first place, also the first to break the ice. The chill. Break the ice. I, I'm seeing an overlap with some of her chapter stuff. <clears throat> and book stuff. If Yi Song joins the light blue color of the sky, then let's see. You must be a thinker and a philosopher who prefers the calm and quiet. Oh. How did you come to know that? It's quite the remarkable talent you have. Okay. D Before Roja says anything, I'm saying yellow. <laughs> Hark, hark, I wish my fa favorite color to be rated as well. Forsooth, I quite fancy the color red, nay, yellow. Nay, 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 red, nay. Now, wait your turn. Next in order is Faust. I... Wait up, wait up. I know exactly what you're about to say. You're about to say Faust does not hold much belief in such ideations or something like that, right? Which is exactly what people who like the color white would say. I'm right, aren't I? Like, your hair is white, too. I will not comment further on this subject. Me? My favorite color? What a stupid question. That's Nat Flas. But I like... He pauses. A great manner begins to emerge in our view from a distance. I could immediately tell that this was our... This was the Wuthering Heights manner Heathcliff had mentioned. Black. It's the color you get when you dump an entire set of paint into a bucket, in it? And that's exactly why I tolerate it. Keep throwing paint over paint and over paint and you get black. Simple. I can clearly hear that Heathcliff is muttering through gritted teeth. I have a feeling that Black wasn't always his favorite color. Shit, I need to do another one. <laughs> I, I I want the actual, like, entry. Okay, I have an alarm set for... So I don't go too far, but... I was hoping to get the makeover part 